one of my babies. <laughs> this is the worst thing you've ever done. <laughs> okay, I regret this. Let's just... <laughs> I thought, alright, that was weird. Forget that. Let's start again. Why is my microphone all the way over there? Let's just keep rolling. This video is an absolute train wreck. <laughs> I made a video last year about all the stuff I have in my Switch collection, and while that has pretty much doubled at this point, because it really isn't a secret that I'm addicted to Switch games, but something I, I want to show off <laughs> today is this. Uh, out here on the table, I have every single limited run game that has released so far. I'm gonna go through every single one of these games in order of release. I'm gonna show off the game. I'm gonna show off the little special card because each release came with a card. And I'm also gonna talk about the game and why I bought it. So with all of that said, how about we just get started by uh, liking the video? Oh, <laughs> sorry. What? Were you listening to music while you're filming? This? Yeah, I was listening to uh, like Zelda like themed music. It kind of like gets me in the zone. Why? Why? What's up? What's going on? What? <laughs> okay, yes, today's video is sponsored by Raycon, and leave a comment down below if you actually saw these in my ear, and I doubt it. This is the freaking future, man. Half the price of most other headphones and earphones you can buy for this quality. As soon as I put them in, not only are they super comfortable, but the bass, man, they sound so good. <laughs> my first test was, I, I ran on the spot, and I like shook my head, jumping jacks and a whole ton of stuff, and these things are solidified in place, pumping beats into my ears. And it really does isolate noise because I really can't even really hear myself talk with these things in. Maybe one of the coolest things is that it comes with this little carrying case which actually charges the earphones when you put them in. They're snug, they're awesome, they sound great, and if you want to pick up a pair, since they're so cheap, you can actually get another 15% off if you use my linky Cody things in the description. So go down there and, and click it. I would appreciate it and it does support the channel and thank you Raycon for supporting the channel. Okay, for those that are kind of new around here, I actually have somewhat of a connection with Limited Run Games. I actually met Doug like four or five years ago now at an E3 and became pretty good friends with him. He was the guy that founded this whole thing. He's the brains and the brawn behind all of it. So uh, since the Switch launched and all these eShop games started releasing and there was a lot of really cool ones that I wanted to see get physical releases, certain ones in particular, I was sort of like nudging him in the ribs like, hey, uh, you want to maybe look into how you could make that? That happened because that would be a really good idea and he has actually helped me getting a lot of these there were some of them like Celeste which I don't have in my house yet that sold out instantly like immediately the second they went live and he helped me you know buy one so I do have to give a huge thank you to Doug for helping me with all of this with all that said the first one was one I really wanted it's a point-and-click game done in the style of a lot of old-school point-and-click games and even developed by two amazing people who made other games like Monkey Island and Maniac Mansion and all of those influences can be seen in this game. It is very much like Maniac Mansion with a lot of the humor and charm of games like Monkey Island. All right, the next one that released was Mercenaries King and Flint Hook. It's a double pack. It has both of them in here. And I really love both of these games fairly equally. Flint Hook is an adorable little platformer and Mercenary Kings, well, that's kind of like Metal Slug, and I, I like that. I don't know why my voice is going so high. And then the cards I got for this one are really cool. I have three. I don't know why I have three. Uh, one, obviously, for Flint Hook, one for Mercenary Kings, and then this little comic book style one. Don't get me started on these, by the way. I don't want to get addicted to collecting these things. Number three is Pixel Junk Monsters 2, and um, it's an adorable little game. Saturday Morning RPG is actually kind of a cool one, because not only was it obviously released by Limited Run, it was actually published and developed by Limited Run as well. Well, published is kind of obvious because I'm holding it. It is obviously a nostalgic trip throwback RPG game <laughs> with loads of references to the 80s and 90s. It kind of reminds me a lot of yeah, like Slime Sand. This one has a cool little card that came with it and it was my favorite box of theirs for a while and it just stands out. It pops in the collection. But at this point, I was still trying to buy every box and I was happy with this one. I was less happy with this one. <laughs> I still don't know what this game is and I just kind of got it and I was like, okay, Okay, I do know what this one is. Night Trap. Whether I was getting all the collectors or not, this is definitely one that I wanted to get in the big box edition. It's not a game I've, I've played on Switch. I actually played it, not back in the day, but when I first started collecting, I got a copy of this game like five-ish years ago, something like that, and it was awful. It is an awful game. I really like the trading card I got for this one. I can't even remember what's in the collector's edition at this point, but I remember knowing that it was cool at the time. 
Anytime I make a video like this, I get yelled at for keeping things sealed. I'm not the kind of guy that gets little trinkets out of collector's editions and then plays with them and has a great time on a weekly basis. I know if I open it, I'm gonna look at them, I'm gonna be like, cool, put them back. And then it's just up there and it's not sealed. What a waste that was. <laughs> Thumper was definitely the point where I decided to stop going for the collector's editions. So I'll just mix and match on the ones I want to buy the collectors for. I'm just not a big fan of the game. The card for it kind of sucks too. Um, I will say <laughs> the cover up for this is really cool. It's like kind of holographic. It's not the word you use. Me metallic, shiny. It looks really awesome. And they used that same look for Oxenfree. Now this is a game I loved. I missed out on the collector sadly. And I wasn't going to bother Doug to try and get it for this one i just decided to buy it i do kind of wish i had the collectors for this one it's a really awesome game i really didn't think west of loathing was gonna get the physical but i am so glad that it did i highly recommend this game it's a game that you do not judge based by its cover if you want to play an rpg with stick figures this is the way to do it it's hilarious it has some of the best dialogue in a video game the dialogue makes the game and i'm really glad that my card was the, the main guy there i'm still not sure if there's different versions of cards but let me know if you got a different one dust anybody know dust what's that from anyone dust <laughs> This is game number two that I, I don't know. I don't, don't know. I don't, I don't know it. I got two little cards for it here. Apparently I bought this twice. But here's the thing. I do not remember buying this twice. I do not have a receipt for buying this twice. Furthermore, I wouldn't have bought the collectors. I would have bought the standard. And further, furthermore, if I'm being even more honest, I don't remember even buying this once. I don't remember seeing this on Limited Run's website. The box is kind of lame too. I don't like this one. <laughs> From here on out, there are actually a lot of my absolute favorite eShop games and a lot of them have really cool collectors. The first one's Ukulele. I like this game. I enjoyed this game more than a lot of people seem to, but it definitely wasn't a favorite and it definitely didn't live up to its hype. However, I did like it. And this is freaking cool. They made it look like an N64 box. And by far my favorite thing about ukulele is this collector's edition. And the little card I got for it is adorable too. Great job on this one. Next, as I said, keeps getting better and better. Fury. This was in my top five eShop games of, was it last year or the year before that? Time? This is a near perfect game for what it set out to do. As soon as I saw they were making this one physical, I about near lost my marbles. And I got a really cool collector's card for this one. Golf Story, for the longest time, this was like the only indie exclusive. And it totally deserved a physical. And not only that, I think Limited Run outdone themselves with this one. And you know what else I love about this? If you're a collector like me, you're going to understand this. I can see the best thing that this has to offer and I don't need to open it. Broken Age, I told you guys, I I love my point and clicks. This was made by Double Fine, the same people that just released Rad on the Switch. I played this on Xbox initially and I absolutely loved it. It came to Switch and it got the physical pretty much at the same time, I think. I do highly recommend this game, especially to point and click fans. Numbers 17 and 18 came in a double package, also separately in like various different ways, collector's editions and standalones, but I decided to go for this pack. This was cheaper than buying them separately and that's good because I didn't want to buy them at all. <laughs> Battle Chef Brigade. This box other than golf story i think this is the nicest collector's edition they did i just love that gold trim something about this just looks like elegance like a like a high class chef don't know what i'm saying but you might know what i mean all right i'm gonna blast through the next four really quick um number 20 here is cosmic star heroine or heroine i haven't played this one i feel like we all know what shantae is the card looks the same as the cover-up kind of disappointing. Well, that's kind of naughty. A bit risque there on the back. Wow. <laughs> Windjammers. It's really fun. Dan Maku, Unlimited 3. I don't really like shoot 'em ups Also, I got the same card twice. All right. Now, this was my... This, like, I don't know what I'm saying. This is another favorite um, Iconoclast, and they made it look like a Super Nintendo box this time around. Iconoclast is a really great game. I sound like a broken record, but it's definitely a gem, like a, almost a hidden gem of the eShop because it's up there with like the quality of a lot of the best eShop games that everyone talks about, and yet it, no one really talks about Iconoclast. I don't think. I got two different cards for this one again. One with a gold trim. I don't know if that makes it rarer or not, but I love the cards. I love the game. I love the box. I love you. Thanks for watching. Like this video and subscribe. Hey, look, another world. <laughs> I reviewed this one too. <laughs> Who would have thought all these years later, we'd get a good Toe Jam and Earl game after like two failures. <laughs> I really wanted to get the collectors for this one, but it came in like this big, awesome looking box, but it didn't have like any words on it. It was just this like pink box. 
And I was like, so I just bought the normal one for this one, but it's a really cool case, so I, I was fine with that. And it's a really cool card too. It is the logo, but it looks nice. I like it. All right, let's just wrap this up. Escapists, it's whatever. I haven't played that one. Curse of the Moon, this is actually a fantastic game, and they made it look like an NES box this time. Bomb Chicken, haven't played it. Giga Wrecker, haven't played it. Ages. Haven't played. I actually need to play this one. This one looks fantastic. It's been on my list for a while. Oh, wait. In between that, I was supposed to show this. It didn't fit on the table. Uh, Luminous. Actually, I played this on my PS Vita. Uh, it was a hidden gem for a long time, but it's probably my favorite rhythm-based music game. It is so freaking relaxing. And then the latest one is Dragon's Lair trilogy i love the art style of this not only the cover but the actual game it's an old school arcade game where it's like a cartoon that should have been a movie and you you like make choices and it's really hard and it never seems to actually register the choice you want to make in time so you die and then you have to put another quarter and try again thankfully though on switch you don't have to put in quarters you just gotta buy the game but it comes with uh, not only dragon's lair but space age and dragon's lair 2 it's like a, it's like a trilogy. I'm gonna see if that, that other one came in the mail yet. Well, would you look at that? How is that for timing? <laughs> you didn't think you'd also get a live unboxing crammed into this collection video. Oh, and I got the collectors for this one too. So Momodora is a really good game. I just love, love, love the art style of Momodora. And oh, the card I got is the same as the cover up. I kind of hate when that happens, but it's fine. <laughs> if you told me that in the future I would be buying games that I legitimately didn't even want on a weekly basis, I would just about slap. But I do have a personal attachment to Switch. I love my Switch. And as someone who does review all of these eShop games, and I'm always trying to find the next game to talk about, when Limited Rumble were like, we're gonna do Switch, I was like, this is my chance. I'm gonna try and get every single one of these. If you like this video, I can do another one because have y'all heard of Super Rare Games? Oh, it doesn't end at Limited Run. They've put out like 21, 22 at this point. I could do that. Hey, I wanna show you something. If you enjoyed this video, remember to hit flip all over the subscribe button and I can do that and they won't fall out. Remember to check out that code down below. Thank you to Raycon for sponsoring this video. Thank you to Limited Run Games for taking all the money I made from that sponsorship. Like this video if you haven't already. Bye.